NanoCAD Mechanica is a DWG-based mechanical detailing package designed for NCAD applications. It runs on top of NanoCAD Pro and it can read and write DWG files as well as create regular drawings just like NanoCAD does as well as drawings made from parametric parts. It supports a variety of international standards and has constraints and multifunction grips. The heart of NanoCAD Mechanica is the library and if you don't see it come down here where the tabs are and choose it. When we look up here we see a long list of parts and other things that are useful for mechanical design. Let's take a look at one particular one. Click on this thrust ring and if you come down here in the preview area you can uh, hold down the cursor key and rotate the item to see it from all different angles. Now we come up here to position it in the drawing with a click and then we rotate the angle. Hold down the shift key to get it at 90 degrees orthographic mode. Click again and up pops this dialog box with the different diameters so I can choose a larger diameter. Click apply and there it is as well as the different viewpoints. So this is the front view. Click apply and there we are. Command automatic repeats. Press escape to stop. Now if you want to change this thrust ring afterwards, move your cursor over top. It displays a description of it in a tooltip. Click the edit and up comes that dialog box again. And then you can again change the size. Something else valuable that's found in the library are calculations. So you can click here on calculations and see the different kinds. And this is how it works. Click on one and find a spot for in the, in the drawing. And now you can fill out all the parameters for this particular one, which is a bevel gear. Click analysis and there's the results. And then you can click OK and they're right there. Now when you double click this, you come back to the dialog box. Click back to make changes. Also found in the library are drawing templates. You can see a variety of standards here. GB is Chinese, DIN is German, ISO is international, CSN is Czech. Let's try this main stamp ISO one. So here we have a dialog box you can uh, fill out. Down here you have some icons. This one saves the values as a default. This one clears the values. And when you click OK, it's inserted. To edit it, double click and back comes the dialog box. Now I'd like to show you the Mechanica menu, which has a lot of important features in it. Let's click on it and see what we have. Under the design, we have calculations, which we saw in the library palette. And here's where you would import files from PCB design software, such as ORCAD and PCAD. The recognition menu will convert lines that you may have drawn or someone else may have drawn to form tables or drawing borders, and it will then convert them into actual tables and so on. Here's where you can uh, create new borders and titles, do parts lists, create tables as well as export import to and from Excel and convert tables from AutoCAD. Uh, here's a whole bunch of symbols that you can place into drawings, number of utilities, for example, uh, draw different kinds of brake lines, ton of construction lines, center lines, and so on. Here's another place to access the parts library and to edit them. Edit menu does things like edit groups and blocks. And then finally settings, which lets you preset all kinds of standards, Russian standards, international ones, Chinese, from India, and from France. You can specify how standard elements will look. For example, beam calculations, the different colors, uh, default values. Here you can specify what symbols look like. For example, which layer to place dimensions. Here you can specify borders. Once again, layers, textiles, and so on. And here are options for what happens when PCB drawings are brought into Mechanica. Mechanica reads and writes AutoCAD drawings natively, and it even opens up sheet sets, which are multiple sets of drawings. 
When you need to work with drawings that are still on paper, you can bring them in as raster images. Mechanica has a range of editing options to fix up the poorly done scans. It also imports point clouds. These are 3D scans made on location, and then you can trace over those.